we already know that the first season of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be bringing back a familiar face with Baron Zemo, and of course introducing quite a few new players to the MCU, such as US Agent John Walker. So this news is actually coming at us from a direct source, a writer slash producer, Derek Koldstad. Now this guy you might be familiar with because he's worked on the likes of the John Wick trilogy so far, and he's actually a writer for the upcoming The Falcon and the Winter Soldier first season. So during a recent discussion with Empire, he said, and I quote, What I will say is that there are characters from the earliest Marvel movies that are coming back. Well, that is literally as simple of a statement and a confirmation as you could get from an actual person that wrote the series. Now, the going, I guess, theory slash sort of conclusion we all had with what's happening in Black Widow. The fact that they said that Black Widow and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be something that have to come out around the same time because, again, we're going to see a build up to what's coming down the road and many people speculating that this will, in fact, be the formation of the Thunderbolts. It does make sense that this is the route that they're going. Now, some of the villains that are obviously left over that you could include along with Thunderbolt Ross would be the likes of the Abomination and of course Justin Hammer. Now I don't know who else they could be referencing unless they're gonna go really obscure and pull somebody from like a very tiny role or something which I don't think is going to happen. It definitely sounds like they're going to try to wrap up some of those loose ends we've had and of course with the likes of She-Hulk also coming in the next year and a half to two years it really would not surprise me if they at least try to mention somebody like the leader and maybe even included him in that that series but I think him fitting into Thunderbolts to be able to bring a new form of Avengers together to take on this new team that's forming of supervillains would honestly be a better pick. And also when we look back at the Falcon and the Winter Soldier we already know that George St. Pierre is in fact in the series and was back on set as Batrock the Leaper. And out of all the other characters that were in Phase 1, Loki, he's, well, he's on his own. Obadiah Stane, he's not around anymore. Red Skull, somewhere in space. Justin Hammer, in jail. Whiplash, yeah, it's a no. Arnim Zola, eh, you could really, if you stretch far, you could bring him back and say that the computers in the Winter Soldier were just a leftover, but uh, he's still out there, maybe in the robot body. Abomination, that makes sense. And you got that one Ice King guy who's probably not him, not, not him. But yeah, I mean, it's coming from the man himself, the man that wrote the thing. So uh, yeah, take that to the bank that this is true. And uh, this is pretty big breaking news because... um. Who's it going to be? Come on, Abomination. <laughs>